Okay, and welcome. This is my live reaction to the Square Enix E3 conference. Um, so I was trying to rush to get um, everything set up in time, and I'm having technical difficulties as usual. Um, I don't really have anybody joining me um, for this one. Uh, it's just going to be myself. Because it's a Monday, everybody's busy working and stuff. Um, I'm surprised I'm available to do this. So um yeah so i'm gonna be doing uh square enix today uh ubisoft i'm not gonna do the pc gaming conference i don't have a whole lot i can well i can add to the conversation but not a whole lot I'm, i'd be energized for um and then sony uh later tonight tomorrow i will not be doing nintendo uh yesterday i did the microsoft and bethesda conference they're up on my youtube channel and videos on demand on twitch if you want to watch them um and I did those with Court FTW and Ivy Quinzel ninety one. Um, so today is gonna be Square Enix. Just starting about two minutes. Um. Now audio audio may be a little bit delayed, like it was for the Bethesda conference. I haven't quite figured out why the Xbox One went so smoothly and then the other ones didn't. So <laughs> it's just the videos aren't syncing up. Um. Actually, this seems about seems about fine now. Let's see, so, uh, until we've got uh, until we've got Square Enix as a reminder at one p.m. Ubisoft, aka Beyond Good Not Evil too bad. Two conference, <laughs> three p.m. The PC so gaming this show. So this is this is the um. We've always had a few surprises there. Twitch uh, you know, what channel happen? for E3 because that's what I have to use if I want to stream. Sort of also, there's not going to be any alerts, so any follows or anything, Bethesda I can't really see Microsoft. them or call them out. Will Sony close the show out in the same fanfare that, uh, you know, yesterday? We try to fix this. Yeah, it did really well last year. They did? Yeah. Their press conference last year was astronomical. I mean, the, it was like a multimedia performing art experience. Like I, as, as a producer, creator of content, for me, that was like a very... In I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to sync up the video and the audio here. Or... I feel like every year they kind of push the envelope a little bit. And I feel like I would say a lot. All right. So I'm going to try doing this other thing. They changed, they changed the, um, I guess, the, the, the URL for how it gets audio. The journeys we will take. The this kind of works now. We will face the heroes. We will become test test Our see if my voice is uh is i think yeah, i think my voice is fine Welcome all right so they're the starting Square nx e3 showcase 2018. There is a moment in everyone's life when we must make a choice. Let the world shape our destiny. Or fight to become who we're meant to be. Actually, this works. Maybe in my own little window. They're gonna show off more Tomb Raider. I'm gonna be. They showed off a lot yesterday in the other con. Yeah, there we go. In the other conferences, I was impressed. <laughs> 
Hi, my name is Daniel Chaibisson, game director well, at Eidos Montreal. You've just seen the beginning of Shadow the Tomb Raider, which will deliver on Lara Croft's defining moment as she raced to stop a Maya apocalypse. Lara will have to confront a brutal jungle environment in order to survive. And even though that she's more confident and more capable, she will still be outgunned and outnumbered by Trinity. She will have to use everything she'll learn from the jungle and use it in order to survive. We call this becoming one with the jungle. Let's take a look what this means for gameplay. Any of you guys come through here? Chow team, Croft is on a venture towards your position. I say again, Croft is coming to you. Jesus Christ. I'll write down notes. We'll get her, sir. Show me her corpse, and your entire team is next to me for some deacon training. Rock out. Oh, terrible. I'll kill you all! Oh, it's like Assassin's Creed. Where you poison the guy, he hallucinates and kills everybody. Oh no, don't do this to me now. I'll try closing some windows. Can we get more light in here? Spell me a bit. I gotta check in with Maltese. Sure. Gives me something to do. Hey, you know Maltese's access code? 010353 Mike. Hey, heading over there now. Need some backup here. This place is empty. Mm-hmm. Body here. Looks recent. Guards up. They can't be Gotta far. find out what's going on. You, take point. Lead the way. Maybe there. Enemy spotted! <laughs> <laughs> Hope that you like what you've just seen. There's so much depth to the combat that we cannot wait to show you more. There's new traversal techniques like grappling, wall running. We even have a full 360 degree underwater swimming, which means full underwater exploration and survival. We have also one of the biggest I don't know how I feel about ever that. created in any Tomb Raider game, featuring a hidden city. And of course, we have tombs. We have more of them and they're deadlier than ever before. But for now, we're gonna leave you with a video that will give you a taste of what to expect out of Shadow the Tomb Raider and how Lara Croft becomes the Tomb Raider that she's destined to be.
I'm excited for that. Uncertain and fraught with danger. We stand together, for we are the warriors of light, ready for whatever new challenges and surprises await us. Oh dear. Without our knowledge and expertise, our new friends will be hard-pressed to contend with a foe for whom death is but a minor inconvenience. You will pay for what you have done! With blood! What is happening? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Crossover for Final Fantasy and Monster Hunter. What? This is the same trailer. The spirit is ready for battle. Hi everyone, my name is Michel Corp. And my name is Raoul Barbet. We are the two creative directors of Life is Strange at Dontman Entertainment. As you may know, we have just revealed the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. It's a brand new story in the Life is Strange universe. And this full experience will be available to download for free on the 26th of June. To us, Life is Strange is not a single town or set of characters. Captain Spirit is our way for introducing the players to the many stories we want to tell in this expanded universe. Captain Spirit is not Life is Strange too, but it will be your first steps into this world. The game is hiding many secrets and even some links to the brand new story and characters of season two. So make sure you take all your time to explore. We cannot wait for you to experience Chris's story. We hope you will enjoy it. Um, have a great history and from all the Life is Strange team at Don't Nod, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. <laughs> This game will be cool, like, like experiencing the imagination of this kid. 100% free! Interesting. The power of light is best unveiled in our darkest hour. They have the same voice actor for every game.
Or voiceover. It seems that grief and tragedy have followed you since birth. Cruel fate's dark plan has stalked you to the corners of the earth. You've brushed with death a thousand times. Yet still, you have your life. It is your fate to save this world. For this, you must survive. Bright luminary, let the light shine on the world again. Interesting music for the game. We must fight fire with cold steel. All that matters is power, and the only power that matters is that of the darkness. It's time to claim your birthright. Only you can save our world. Destiny beckons. Do not lose heart. Do not look back. Until your time is through. <clears throat> Dragon Quest. Bold Luminary, we swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. Yep. We're all in this together. Show us what you've got. Let's do this. Lead on, darling. That's going to be somebody's wallpaper. <laughs> hey, Courtney. Uh, no, this is Dragon Quest. Very Dragon Ball Z-like for the art style. Oh my god, there's like so many crossovers with Final Fantasy. It's ridiculous. You don't need to cross over every game with Final Fantasy. Babylon's Fall. This is going to be a new game. Interesting. On PS4 and Steam. I'm 
Remember yesterday, I... A masterpiece. It's the same voiceover guy. For all the games. Um... Near Automata. Yeah. Oh, this is uh, Scar, merchant, octopath Warrior, traveler, dancer, apothecary, thief, hunter. Step into their shoes and explore Game the realm of Orstera as you see fit. Whose path will you tread? Octopath traveler. Wow, it's finally coming out. Just cause. Got the dubstep going. Thought that trope was done like years ago. Just cause for. Didn't think game developers are still doing that. A rogue agent on a mission that'll challenge everything and everyone he knows. Rico has arrived in the fictional South American country of Solis, the largest and most breathtaking world we've ever created. Every journey into Solis will uncover history, secrets, and danger. Never before has a Just Cause game offered greater variety, rich in all forms of life. At first glance, Solis is a beautiful location. But scratch the surface and you will uncover oppression, fear, and violence. All enforced by Gabriella, the leader of the private militia organization, the Black Hand. Just Cause 4 takes destruction and physics simulation to a whole new level with the introduction of extreme weather. Experience towering tornadoes that can tear trees from the ground and level bridges to sticks. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome forked lightning, unpredictable and deadly sandstorms, and roaring blizzards. Witness the spectacular destruction as they offer both a challenge to Rico as well as creating fun opportunities for creative sandbox gameplay. Our vehicles have been totally overhauled new additions that offer extra gameplay opportunities. Bulldozers, car transporters, cranes, and even wrecking balls are all fun in our world. We have new handling on bikes and cars, as well as exotic vehicles like jet skis and micro jets. Rico's grapple is now fully customizable and has been overhauled to make it more intuitive for newcomers while offering greater depth for a more experienced player. The grapple now has more tethers than ever before. Jesus. The ability to deploy booster rockets and the all new airlifters. Oh, they're going to have fun with this. Incredibly powerful and creative. I've seen so many hilarious uh gifts Meanwhile, from this game. Meanwhile, a new story glues together our freeform go anywhere do anything gameplay that Just Cause is so famous for. And the stakes for Rico have never been higher. <laughs> Combat in Just Cause 4 is better than ever. Enemies now present a far more intelligent threat to Rico. Each archetype comes with unique abilities, with AI designed to keep the player on their toes. So Lise is a deeply advanced systemic world. Everything you've seen from the incredible physicalized destruction to unparalleled draw distance is powered by the brand new best in class open world Apex engine. Make no mistake, no mistake. Welcome to 
Just Cause 4. They're just showing game after game. Nice. <laughs> Silent. Are they, uh. Are they trying to make the seamless transition of live action to gameplay there? They didn't pull that off. <laughs> did not look. The gameplay did not look live action. <laughs> we got some, uh. What was it called? Every night, I didn't look at it. Question, there is an answer, and for every door, there is a key. I think they need to uh, work on that game, though. Is wielded. Wow. Walking, talking snowman. You really are alive. Hello. Olaf, are these your friends? Hmm? No, no, never met him. Don't know anyone blue, green, or who's oddly spiky. Oh. Look out! Oh. That's amazing. You can control ice. Control it? No, all I ever do is hurt people. Ha! I never played Kingdom Hearts, but... Still, Sora, that doesn't mean you should change. Accept the power you're given. Find the hearts joined in yours. <laughs> How did I live in a kingdom of Hark! The sound design is not finished in this game. There's voiceovers on top of music. So what will Elsa accept? Light or darkness? I know I want to know. Roxas does exist. His heart's inside my heart. In that case, by all means, nothing would please us more than Roxas's return, of course. And Roxas? Yes, for the virtual world to be completely realized, Ansem the Wise would have included Roxas' full data in the construction. This Keyblade. Is that? Mickey. You're too late.
Is this only a half hour thing? E3 showcase that was, that was 2018. Short. All right. So yesterday during the press conference, uh, I I don't know that these are like revolving names. Used to be called press conferences. Now they're um, briefings and showcases. Every 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 publisher has a different title for it. Anyway, during yesterday's um, whatever they're called now, um, there was a lot of Square Enix games shown, and I was, I was like asking the question, like, what are they going to show for their showcase? Um, cause it seemed like they had already showed off all their games on all the other conferences. And, um, that seems to be the case here. There, there was a couple new announcements. Um, I just wrote off like the big stuff that was shown off the, the Tomb Raider. They've already gone in depth. It was nothing that wasn't shown yesterday. Uh, final fantasy monster hunter crossover was an interesting announcement. Um, and I think there was also final fantasy. Final Fantasy and um, I think it was Dragon Quest uh, crossover. There was something else Final Fantasy crossover. I don't know. It seems like they're trying to shove Final Fantasy in as many of their games as possible. Um, and then there's uh, and there's Final Fantasy Online they, they talked about too. To be honest, I'm not into all those games, so I don't know much about them. Uh, Captain Spirit. Um, it, again, it's the same stuff they showed uh, yesterday, but uh, they did say that is going to be a hundred percent free. So that's interesting. I don't know if they're just using that as like here's here's a free game to get you to want to buy uh, season two of Life is Strange. Um, I don't know. I don't know why it's or if there's any sort of microtransaction work at all. I don't get how it's going to be a hundred percent free, but we'll see. Um, and there's a they showed off some Dragon Quest. Uh, Babylon's Fall looks like a new game, uh, which is interesting. It's like a medieval kind of uh, game. It's all, it's all cinematic, though, so it's really hard to tell what type of game it is. Um, then uh, Nier Automata, the complete collection or whatever it's called. Octopath Traveler is finally coming out. It's going to be out next month. Like That game has been announced forever. Um the stuff in Just Cause 4, again, that was showed off yesterday. Um, they did explain how a lot of the me game mechanics are changing from the last game, uh, which is cool. Um, then there was that game uh, was about silence, like the character's death. Uh, I didn't catch the title. I wasn't paying attention. Um, again, uh, they, they did a weird switch from live action to gameplay to try to make it seem like, can you tell the difference? I immediately could tell the difference. That wasn't... I feel like they have some work to do on that game. <laughs> um, again, don't know what type of game it is. Um, looks like some sort of um, like third-person action flash fighting style type of game, but I don't know. And then they left off with Kingdom Hearts. Again, stuff that was already... The exact same trailer that was shown yesterday. And it was only a half an hour long. They had, like, this was, I don't know why they had this. They could have shown all these games on all the other press conferences. I, this, uh, this was, I didn't watch EA. I heard it was horrible, as usual, as it is every year. But I don't see how this would have been better than EA. <laughs> um, all right, well going uphill from here hopefully i'm looking forward to the ubisoft press conference um i know a lot of people actually in my circle hate 
Ubisoft and and their games and everything. I I look forward to them a lot. I love their games, and I'm looking forward to what they have to offer, um, or what they have coming up. Um, and uh, and then there's Sony later tonight, which always it seems like year after year they've been getting um, better and better, uh, like stealing the show. So I'm looking forward to that. And then Nintendo is tomorrow. Unfortunately, I will not be um, doing a live reaction to that. I won't be able to. But I will do Ubisoft and Sony tonight. Square Enix is kind of depressing. I'll, I'll be honest. Um, let's off this uh, event list here. Well, um, sorry to end on a sad note. Um, but uh, I will be back. I think it's 4 o'clock is a Ubisoft one. So I'll be back at 4 o'clock. And uh, archiving these up on YouTube. So you can watch them there. Um, yeah, the Ubisoft one.